Hi, Elaine Sanderson here and another very inspirational video. I sat in my car, I get all these thoughts when I'm driving and sometimes I have to pull over and just tell you what's on my mind. So this one is about Google My Business. I'm very excited about this at the moment. I've just created a product on helping local businesses literally get in the three pack, which is on the first page of Google. Most businesses don't do this. So if you just spend two minutes listening to me now, I'm gonna give you five steps of how to get you in the three pack. It's a few minutes long, so I'm not going to take up much of your time at all. So if you haven't verified your listing or claimed your listing, go and do that now. Claim your listing off Google. They send a postcard through. You need to get yourself verified. That's obviously, the, 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 that's not even step one. That's the basics. That's the foundation. Step one is once you get your business verified, go into the dashboard and max it out. Don't take time on this. Get your description fully in there, like 500 words they give you. Max it out with all your keywords that people look for you for, whether you're a butcher's Chesterfield or whether you're a florist in, in um, Bromley, whatever you do, um, you need to max them out with your keywords. So Google picks up on those keywords, put photos, put videos, uh, photos of your business, your staff, your premises, your products, your services. Really, really max it out with photos and videos. Make sure you put your services on there. Don't ignore that because that's very visible to people looking for you. Um, and as I said in my previous video, a lot of company owners now, business owners, are questioning whether they really need websites because a lot of searchers are not even going to websites now. They're literally using Google Local uh, for their for their for their results. 95% uh, of people use Google My Business to search for all the facilities we've got in our local area. It could be restaurants, hairdressers, it's the reviews you've got. And if you're visible on the first page, you're literally tapped into a massive free marketing tool. It's not AdWords. So anyway, step number one is get it maxed out. Put your services, put your hours, because that's all visible. Um, even post these days, post once a week. It's almost like a blog online. So that's the first step. The second step, is make sure that you put photos and videos as I've said on there but when you put your photos on you need to geotag them okay if you don't know what that means you need to google it or get on my course I've covered everything how to geotag photos they want to see these photos are at your business address because they want verification that your business is where you say it is okay it gives it more weight more ground and it put your search engines the ranking so up the rank, shall I say, if you get your photos geotagged. So that's step number two. There are a few tricks to that, which I can't cover in this video. Step number three is get your, what we call naps and citations out there. So name, address, and phone number needs to be all throughout the internet on different directories. Okay, not just Yale and Thompson. There are other directories. Yelp is a good one. And basically get yourself in all directories that backs up where your name, address and your phone number is. It literally, Google crawl the internet to see where your business is. Okay, step number four is on your website. So you need your address and your phone number and your email address on every single page of your website. Okay, so Google again verifies you. Think, yes, I can see this address everywhere. It's not just on the website, on my listing, Google listing. It's on NAP citations. So that's step number five. And then, sorry, in step number four, step number five, I should probably not left, left this to last, but leave the best till last. Get yourself reviews, okay? Google reviews. A lot of people are scared by Google reviews. I can't ask. Yes, you can ask. People love giving reviews. We are in a review world now. I don't know about you, but whenever I go anywhere, I always check reviews on the company. And I only need to see they've got four or five good reviews. And that's not hard. I mean, our business, we've, we're a local business based in Chesterfield. You can search it out. I've got it on my modules. Uh, we run a window business in, in Chesterfield. We've got the best reviews in town. Uh, it's not been hard because I've automated it. I've made sure that in all my invoices, I send a link and people give me a review and it's an easy click of a link. All that's in my module course. Um, if you want to click the link below, you've got a free ebook there covering these basic things in more detail. Um, so click the link below and get access to that because I'm telling you now, we are sitting in a world now where websites are not being used as much as they used to be and google is now the leader in getting local people clients to local business so thanks so much for listening i really hope this has inspired you but don't waste any time because it's all pretty straightforward stuff it just takes a little bit of time and effort on your side thank you